Hey, this is Roy Richardson, the Tech Troublemaker, and I'm going to show you how to install Ubuntu on Parallel 17 on an M1 Mac. Why would you want to do this? Well, Linux is cool and awesome, and there's so many things you can do with it, and so let's get started. So here we are. I already have Parallels installed on my computer, and so I'm going to go up here and choose... Install. So you already see I have Windows 11 for everyday use. This is on Parallels on my M1 Mac and I have a Windows 11 Gaming. And now I'm going to install Ubuntu. So of course it's going to say, hey, M1 Mac. And then I'm going to choose right here, download Ubuntu. And then I'm going to do continue. And then it's going to say, hey, it's about 2.05 gig, but it's going to expand out to like 6.17. 6 I'm going to say download. And I have pretty fast internet, but if it gets slow, I'll speed through this process. Maybe it's part where I take a nap. Two very boring minutes later. It's almost done. Ten seconds remaining. All right. It's about to be done downloading. Now it's validating the download. A few moments later. It starts up pretty quick. And green OKs are good. All right, so Parallels has started. So I'll click here, and it's going to have me create a password. And you probably say, well, the user account is Parallels. Don't worry. I'll show you how to change that. You may want a complex password, depending on what you're going to use it for. So it starts up, and says, starts up, hey, I want to install the Parallels tools. Parallels tools allow Parallels and the Linux OS to kind of intermingle together and talk well play well together so I recommend doing this okay now it's ready to restart so that the parallel tools will kick in it'll load a video driver it'll allow interact with the mic better we'll do a restart and it'll start back really quick and here we go. And you'll notice if you had any printers, that type of thing, it's adding those all in now. And so then, technically, this is the first time we're running here. Live patch will go out and do updates, that type of thing, but you have to register for a, an account with uh, Canical. And so it's your call if you want to do that. I usually skip that. Um, I don't like to send system info, so I choose next. And then I don't like to do location tracking. So location services allows applications to determine geographical, geographical location. I'm going to leave that off. And here are several apps you may be interested in installing. Audacity's cool. Uh, GIMP, GNU, image manipulation. It's kind of like Photoshop Lite. Uh, Sublime Text Editor. I love using that. Okay, so I'm not going to install anything right now. But I want to do two things. One, I want to change my name. I don't like my name. I want to change it. Change it, man. So I'll type users. Here we do add and remove users and change your password. So here's parallels. And I'm going to see right here it says you have to unlock the change settings. So unlock. So this is the password you initially typed in. Do edit. Change it to Roy. Okay, you should change it to your name. Don't change it to mine. Well, unless your name has to be Roy. Okay, so that's done. And I could add more users, but it doesn't make sense. I'm the only person that uses this Mac. So, yeah, there we go. Now, I want to update my Mac. Sorry, I want to update Ubuntu. And I'm a big fan of command line. So, I'm going to tell it terminal. And I'm going to right click and I'm going to say add to favorites. So, I added to my favorites. So, right here it's in the sidebar. So, next time I want to run it, I can click right there and it'll run it for me. So I'm a command line kind of guy. So it's going to ask me for my password. Anytime you do sudo, uh, you're basically saying, I want you to run my elevator privileges. So I'll hear that. And this goes out and updates the index of all the available software that's available for updating your Ubuntu box. Now, before I do that, I want to show you this. Okay. So if you go to settings, go to about, and notice right now we're running Ubuntu 
042 long-term support. That LTS stands for long-term support. So I'm going to close that out. Now, when I run this upgrade, and then, hey, it's like, hey, I'm going to do like 44 mega changes. You want to do this? Cap Y. Yep. It would have taken a lowercase Y, but I just like to capitalize it because it said do a capital Y to really say, yes, I'm sure I want to do this. And so it downloads those updates. And when I go back, you'll see that I'm running at this time of the recording, the latest version of Ubuntu for ARM processor. And by the way, I didn't mention this, but you have to run the ARM version of Ubuntu if you're going to do this in parallels on M1 Mac. And unless it has to recompile the kernel, and the kernel is the base that talks to the, all the hardware components, unless it has to upgrade the kernel, which means it had drivers that need to be updated and that type of thing, unless it has to rebuild that, you usually never have to reboot when you update Ubuntu. Okay, so now it's done. So let's go back to about. And notice now, I'm running Ubuntu 20.04.3 long-term support. So I've upgraded to the latest version of Ubuntu. Now we just want to prove, now the way the networking works on Ubuntu when you're in parallels is that it uses the networking on your Mac to get out to the internet unless you've set something special up. So we'll go here and hey, Firefox started. And there's Google. So. The internet is working great. That's all working. Now, I do have one setting I want to change. And let me show you. Notice right here at the bottom is that there is a icon in the dock for any application I have running. For example, when I crank up Firefox, notice now there's now I have terminal still running on my Ubuntu, and then I have Firefox running, and there's shortcuts there. For some reason, that bugs me. I turn that off. It's your call completely. But if I go to change settings, go here to configure and go to options, applications, you can uncheck this right here and says, Hey, you want, are you sure you want to do that? This will disable that bouncing icons. It'll also disable showing shortcuts for the applications. Cause I just, for me, I just don't like that option. Uh, another thing you want to do, maybe just a thought is, you may want to give it more memory. It depends on how often you're going to use this. I would bump it to at least 4096. In other words, 4 gig of memory if you your Mac has enough memory to spare. But unless you're just really doing something with Linux, 2 gig is more than enough. Linux is not a hog like Windows. So that's it. That's it. We're done. So now I'm going to shut down my... So I can go here and do sudo dash h means halt dash r means reboot and you tell it when I want to reboot I want to halt now so I want you to shut down that's it that's how you install Ubuntu on Parallel 17 on an M1 Mac thank you for watching bye